But first tonight, two people have been arrested in the murder of a mother shot in the drive-thru of a local Dunkin'. As we learn about the chilling details tonight, the parents of Rachel King share their grief and their hope for the future. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Cartalia. Prosecutors say a romantic rival plotted Rachel King's murder. They say 34 year old Julie Jean had an affair with King's boyfriend. When he ended it, police say that Jean planned to kill King with the help of this man, Zaki Al Kahim. Investigators say that Jean bought the silver car seen at the Cheltenham Duncan where Rachel King was killed. Authorities believe that Al Hakim also used that car in a murder in Philadelphia just four days before she was murdered. Both Jean and Alkim are behind bars tonight. I've seen a lot of horrible and even horrific um, homicides, evil homicides in my nearly 30 years of doing this um, as a prosecutor. Um, and suffice it to say, I am, uh, I'm struggling with this one. It has been a painful journey for Rachel King's family. Her parents sat down with our Carrie Corrado. I spoke with Rachel King's parents. They say they are taking it day by day. They say the death of their daughter felt like a bad dream, and the moment they found out, their world stopped. I want to do God's will. And he calls us to forgive. Powerful words from Alan and Carol King. Their daughter Rachel was shot and killed in a Duncan drive thru in Cheltenham after a months long plot. They say their faith is what's helping them find strength in this difficult time. I would have lost my mind two weeks ago. It's only the power of the living God keeping me. Rachel King's son was in the back seat at the time of the shooting, and her parents say he is getting support for the trauma. He said, my mommy didn't deserve to die like that. Investigators say they found the two people responsible for what they call an apparent murder for hire. I gasped when I saw those faces on the screen during the press conference. I don't, I don't know why I gasped, but it was like, here are the people. They are real. And they, they did a horrific, terrible thing. But at the end of the day, they will have to answer for it. King was a teacher at Grover Cleveland Elementary School in the Tioga section of Philadelphia. Her parents say she was passionate, funny, very caring, and loved R&B music. She was a wonderful teacher. Her parents say they are not looking back and not holding on to any anger following her death. People have asked if you knew the how, the why, the when. You know, how important that, is that to you? And I've told them it's, it really isn't that important because it doesn't change the outcome. The parents say they are so grateful for all of the support from the investigators to schools, churches, and the entire community. They say they hope to help other families grieving and healing from gun violence. Carrie Corrado, CBS News, Philadelphia.